So, today on the Cowbridge Kitchen, um, we are going to make some sesame seed burger buns. Um, these baps are beautiful. Pretty simple to make. We've got some ingredients over here, so let me show you what we need, and I'll show you how to get these burger baps all made up. So, we have about 175 um, millilitres of cold water. We've got um, 50 grams of caster sugar, 25 grams of butter, one teaspoon of salt, about 12 grams of um, fast acting yeast, two eggs, 420 grams of flour. And what we're going to do first is we're going to get our yeast um, and our caster sugar into the water. So we've got a pan on the stove, we're going to get our water into there, and then we're going to get that lukewarm. There we are. So with this water lukewarm, pop your sugar into there and get that dissolved. And then add your 12 grams of um, fast acting dry yeast. Get that into the water. You need to get that all well mixed in. And what this is going to do, this is going to activate the yeast, if you like. Um, it's going to start to react um, in the water and the sugar, okay? And it'll form like a, a kind of a, a skin on top. But that's going to be left there now for about 10 minutes um, to start activating the, in the water, okay? Um, so while that's uh, reacting, well, we're going to get our flour and our salt um, into a bowl ready for the yeast and all the other fluids. Okay, so what we have here, we've got our um, teaspoon of salt, we've got one egg, and we've got some butter, which we have melted um, in the microwave now, so it's a liquid, and 420 grams of flour. So we get the flour into a bowl. Add your salt. And mix that all together with a fork. Okay, with a fork, what we want to do is just beat our egg. That can go into our flour. Along with our butter. And finally, our yeast, which as you can see, has come awake, it's come alive. You can get that into there as well. Okay, so what we need to do is to mix this in now with the fork, so to incorporate all the water into the flour and it'll make a very loose dough. Yeah. And get your hands in and start to form this dough together. Okay, so once you've got it to about this stage, um, where it's sort of not really sticking to your fingers, it's starting to come, come away, all right, and it's a loose dough, we're going to turn this out onto a floured surface. flour. And if during this kneading pro process that your dough does start to become a little bit sticky, you find it sticking to your hands, just sprinkle some flour back over the surface and carry on again. But this is going to take a little bit of time. You're going to want to knead this now for about 10-15 minutes or so until it becomes smooth and kind of elasticy. Use up all the flour as well to stop it becoming too sticky. And 
there we go. So once you've been kneaded this flour now, um, this flour, sorry, this dough, um, for about 10 minutes or so, it started to go nice and smooth now. Um, it's not sticky anymore. So we'll form it into a ball and we'll leave it to prove. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, our dough was now doubled in size. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock this back, um, just punch it back down for a little bit onto a floured surface, and then we can divide it up into our um, burger buns. Okay, so there. So get that out of there, onto the floured surface, and just knock it back. Okay, so what we're going to do with a knife, and um, we're going to divide this this up into eight equal um, parts now. So we're cutting down the centre. And then half, half again. Half, half again. The same with this one. Okay, so these sections, um, they're going to be our eight um, burger buns. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to get these into balls, okay, and form them out, and then squash them down with the palm of your hand to the right size. Let me show you how to do this. Um, so we've put these onto a um, lightly greased baking parchment on a baking tray and um, we've left about an inch to an inch and a half between each, um, each bap to allow them to expand. So what we're going to do now is cover these and we'll let them prove again so that they'll fluff up um, for about 45 minutes now and we'll take the other two, we'll pop them on a separate tray. have been proving now for about an hour and a half or so and um, they've taken a little bit longer than we thought because it depends basically how warm your kitchen is I mean it can be anything between 45 minutes two or three hours for them to uh, fluff up again okay so these have been about an hour and a half so we're gonna get them off now we're gonna get them egg washed get your sesame seeds on them and whack them in the oven and they are gonna take 12 minutes in the oven and they're gonna be ready okay let's get them baked <laughs> 